This is memory based paper of 24th January, shift 2. Let us see the questions of this paper. The first question is asked on metallurgy. This is the metal which is extracted by oxidation and subsequent reduction of its ore. Now the options are given. First one gold. Gold we know that it is extracted by cyanide process where it is leached with cyanide solution in presence of O2 that forms a complex AuCN2- which is further reduced by zinc to give gold metal. Now we can see that in this process cyanide is acting as complexing agent and O2 is acting as oxidizing agent. So zinc is acting as reducing agent. So overall we can see in this extraction of gold oxidation by O2 and reduction by zinc are involved. Therefore, the gold extraction involves both oxidation and subsequent reduction. Now, if you see the other options, copper, copper is extracted mainly from the chalcopyrite, which is subjected to partial roasting, which will give FeO, Cu2S, and some of the FeS remained as unreacted. The FeO formed react with silica to form slag FeSiO3. So we'll get what copper mat if you can recall. Copper mat is formed that is Cu2S and FeS which further react with O2 which is further partially roasted to give Cu2S. The leftover Cu2S on further heating with Cu2O gives copper liquid which we call it as blister copper. So in this roasting and reduction is involved, self reduction is involved. Extraction of iron involves concentration and the reduction by carbon. So chief reducing agent here is carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide reduces Fe2O3 to Fe. So Al2O3, aluminum extraction is done by bauxite using bauxite. Bauxite is subjected to leaching. So finally, we'll get pure Al2O3 that Al2O3 is subjected to electrolysis in fused state using the carbon electrodes. You'll get aluminum at cathode. So this is a good question, repeated question. So gold is correct answer for this question. Next question is the number of unpaired electrons present in highest occupied molecular orbitals highest occupied molecular orbitals we should count the number of electrons homo now if you take nitrogen n2 gas it is 14 electrons we know that nitrogen we should write sp mixing n2 plus sp mixing o2 there is no sp mixing and o2 plus there is no sp mixing when we write the molecular orbitals we will get sigma sigma star sigma 2s sigma star 2s pi 2 px pi 2 when pi 2 pz if you fill the electrons we are getting here sigma 2 pz we have two electrons and if you remove one electron in n2 plus that is removed from the sigma 2 pz there will be one electron here and o2 it is pi star 2 px1 and pi star 2 py1 and O2 plus it will be pi star 2px1 and pi star 2py0. Here there are number of unpaired electrons they have asked. So unpaired electrons in N2 is 0, N2 plus it is 1 and O2 it is 2 and O2 plus it is 1. So 0, 1, 2, 1. So this is a simple question, repeated question. You just understand what is HOMO. HOMO is highest occupied molecular orbital. Electron is removed from HOMO or LUMO here. So number of unpaired electrons will be different. The next question, very simple question based on De Broglie wavelength. It is asked the alpha particle proton and electron have same kinetic energy. What is the order of wavelength? 
so we know that de Broglie wavelength lambda is h by mv this which can be written as h upon square root of 2m kinetic energy as kinetic energy is same you can write lambda is inversely proportional to mass all you know that mass of alpha particle is more than proton is more than electron so we can conclude that more the mass less is the wavelength so wavelength of electron is more than proton is more than alpha particle the next question it is directly taken from ncrt statements so this is benzene is more stable than hypothetical cyclohexadriene that means we are writing resonance hybrid in first case benzene cyclohexadriene means we are not considering the delocalization of pi electrons so as we know that the delocalization leads to stabilization so benzene is more stable than the hypothetical cyclohexadriene where the resonance is not considered so this is a correct statement so the delocalized pi electrons cloud is attracted more strongly by the nuclei of carbon this is obviously correct if it is not tightly or strongly attracted it won't be more stable as it is delocalized electron cloud is more stable that should be strongly attracted by the nuclei so this both statements are correct and this delocalization of electron which leads to strong attraction with the carbon and stabilizes the benzene therefore this is also correct statement and explains this statement one so you can see that this is a correct both are correct statements and reason is correct explanation of correct explanation of this statement one given next so this is a titration of benzoic acid and sodium hydroxide conductometric titration is given it is asked what is the plot between conductance and the volume of sodium hydroxide added so as we know that benzoic acid is a weak acid as it is a weak acid it dissociates slightly to give benzoate ion and h plus ion so initially when you start the titration due to sodium hydroxide addition the h plus ions which were there due to the slight dissociation of benzoic acid will get neutralized by sodium hydroxide as a result we know that in aqueous solution h plus has the highest conductivity due to this consumption of h plus ions initially the conductivity will decrease slightly so after this h plus consumption when you neutralize the benzoic acid we it forms a salt that is sodium benzoate sodium benzoate is formed to give benzoate ion as well as sodium ion benzoate and sodium ion so we can see that on adding the limited quantity of sodium hydroxide after this h plus ions consumed first as the conductivity will be decreased slightly then further addition of sodium hydroxide converts the undissociated benzoic acid molecules into dissociated the ions salt so which leads to increase in number of ions in the solution and conductivity will increase so after the complete consumption of this benzoic acid if further sodium hydroxide is added if further sodium hydroxide is added what is going to happen here we know that among the anions again oh minus will have the highest conductivity due to the large conductivity of oh minus ions again the conductance is observed to be increased but that increase will be slightly more than the benzoate and na plus ions due to formation of na plus formation of addition of oh minus ions now the next question is based on qualitative analysis very easy question potassium dichromate paper acid with dilute acidified with dilute sulfuric acid which is turned green it is turned green due to redox reaction in redox reaction dichromate act as the oxidizing agent this oxidizing agent react with a reducing agent like so2 so so2 it will react to produce chromium plus 3 green and sulfate will be produced 
So the correct answer is sulfur dioxide gas. The next question is asked based on the acidic strength. Most easily deprotonated. So when you remove the acidic proton, you will get this carbonion. Here the carbonion, we can write the different carbonion. Now we know that if the conjugate base is more stable, conjugate base is stable, more stable conjugate base, more is the strength of the acid. Here in all the cases, resonance is there. Here also resonance is there. Conjugate base is stabilized by resonance in all the cases. But there is difference in the stabilization due to resonance. We can see that in first two options, there is cross conjugation. The OCH3 is involving in the resonance with this CO group. As a result, this C minus extent of delocalization will decrease compared to the others. So now we can write the stability of order of this conjugate basis 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is least stable because it is stabilized by only one carbonyl electron withdrawing nature. Whereas in other cases it is stabilized by two withdrawing nature groups. We know that COCH3 and COOCH3. COOCH3 is less electron withdrawing due to cross conjugation. So stability we can write that 4 is less stable than 1. 1 is less stable than 2. 2 is less stable than 3 because in 3 it is more stabilized by resonance and cross conjugation is not there therefore so the most stable conjugate base is found by the c option so it is more acidic if you go for the next question it is asked that statement 1 beryllium plus 2 has higher srp than other alkaline earth metal higher srp means Beryllium plus 2 will be getting reduced to beryllium easily. So that means the reduction of beryllium plus 2 to beryllium is easy. Whereas oxidation of beryllium to beryllium plus 2 is difficult compared to other second group elements. So oxidation of beryllium involves in aqua solution sum of ionization enthalpies i1 i2 and atomization so beryllium should be first converted to beryllium gas beryllium gas should be converted to beryllium plus 2 gas then beryllium plus 2 gas should be converted to beryllium plus 2 aqueous solution here three steps are involved one is sublimation or atomization and ionization IE1 plus I2 and delta H hydration. Now we can see that this is the only step which is exothermic hydration. Ionization and now as the size of the beryllium plus 2 is smaller, it is getting hydrated to large extent. And due to the small size and large strong metallic bonding, beryllium has highest enthalpy of atomization. Now this statement is also correct. So hydration energy and atomization energies are more for second group than other alkaline earth metals. Now we can see that higher SRP of beryllium. What is the causing beryllium the, to have higher SRP? Beryllium is getting converting to beryllium plus 2. Though there is long large negative hydration enthalpy. But due to its high atomization energy and ionization energy oxidation of beryllium to beryllium plus 2 is difficult therefore compared to other elements it has it has more less sop because oxidation is difficult and more srp more srp is observed so both statement 1 and 2 are correct now, if you go for the second question, it is a simple question, routine question asked based on hydroboration, oxidation and oxymercuration, demercuration. So, alkene is reacted with diborane. We know that diborane add, adds on alkene to form alkyl borane. So, boron adds on the less hindered carbon, less hindered carbon. Hydrogen adds on the 
more hindered carbon to give alkyl borane and further oxidation the boron is changed to the borate salt and the other alkyl part changes to alcohol this is very routine question and the alkenes reacted with HgOAc twice oxymercuration demercuration HgOAc first lose acetate ion giving HgOAc plus and CH3COO minus which is attacked by the alkene to form three membered intermediate which is cleaved by water so it is cleaved by water to give this type of intermediate again so water will attack here will have HgOAc here HgOAc in next step NaBH4 reduces this species into the mercury and this intermediate get converts to corresponding alcohol so now we can see that the product is formed due to Marconic of addition in first case then uh, second case in first case it is formed due to anti Marconikov's addition of water molecule therefore we can see the first option here OH should be there this molecule and in second OH should be here the first option next question is based on the environmental chemistry this is from lines of NCRT given in environmental chemistry average human being requires nearly 12 to 15 times more air than food so you can read the ncrt for such questions the next question is aniline and other aryl amines are usually colorless this is a correct statements this is again based on the ncrt physical properties of aniline aniline and aryl anilines are colorless but often they appear to be colored due to the atmospheric air oxidizes them into the quinones or imines so that leads to the color of the compound the quinones will be dark colored therefore the oxidation of aniline and aryl amines leads to the dark color of the substances after long storage so both statement one and two are correct anti-fertility drug it is nar ethindrone antihistamine seldon or terfenadine tranquilizer meprobamate antibiotic penicillin so direct question from ncrt now the next question is it is asked which is good oxidizing agent lanthanides we know that lanthanide stable oxidation state is plus 3 so any other oxidation state plus 4 or plus 3 plus 2 are not stable with respect to plus 3 if plus 4 oxidation state lanthanide is there that readily reduces to lanthanum plus 3 therefore it is acting as oxidizing agent if any lanthanum plus 2 is there that will be converted to lanthanum plus 3 readily therefore it will be a reducing agent so the plus 4 oxidation state lanthanides will be acting as oxidizing agent the next question is based on liquefaction liquefaction of the gases now here a real gas is there at point a the pressure on the gas is increased then the liquefaction of B starts, uh, gas starts at point B and there is the equilibrium between the vapor and gaseous uh, liquid phase and on further application the here C liquid is converted to gas and further application there is small change in the volume. So the simple question, routine question, formation of liquid starts at point C, wrong. So it is starting at point B formation of b to b and c from point b and c amount of liquid decreases wrong here starts and the amount of liquid will increase as we go along this curve 
this wrong formation of liquid starts at point b correct the point b and c at this point b and c there is equilibrium there both liquid and vapor will coexist the next question is from coordination compound cons 363 plus what is hybridization and the magnetic moment it is again commonly asked question generally cobalt plus 3 cobalt plus 3 we know that it is 27 atomic number cobalt plus 3 will be having 3d6 electronic configuration so with cobalt plus 3 ammonia is strong field ligand and pairing of electron takes place now when the electrons are paired from this 3d within the 3d orbitals it leads to the all paired electrons three pairs of electrons and two orbitals of the d orbitals of cobalt plus 3 are vacant which involves in the d2 sp3 hybridization so as a result we can see that it is an inner orbital complex inner orbital complex inner orbital complex and as there are no unpaired electrons it is diamagnetic in nature so the next question is h2o2 behaves like reducing agent in which of the following reactions reducing agent is asked fe plus 2 here is changing to fe plus 3 it is oxidizing agent so h2s is changing to sulfate here also it is oxidizing agent hocl cl is plus 1 changing to minus 1 here it is behaving as reducing agent here mn plus 2 is changing to mn plus 4 here it is oxidizing mn plus 2 to mn plus 4 so reducing agent in the third reaction the next question is asked what are the monochloro products when this compound is treated with cl2 now there are only two different hydrogens this here and here if you write any other product that you'll get identical structure so when you monochlorinate here on this carbon you'll get this product it has no stereo isomer so one but when you monochlorinate on this position you'll get this product it has a chiral center so this compound is optically active two isomers are formed in anisomers so total products formed will be 3 now it is asked lactic acid is given it is asked what is the ph of the lactic acid salt anionic form of the lactic acid that means we should take salt of the lactic acid now lactic acid salt generally if you take with a strong base with sodium it is salt of weak acid and strong base so ph will be more than 7 you can apply the formula directly or you can write the hydrolysis steps and calculate kh where kh is equal to kw by ka that is equal to c h square so where you can calculate kh and h from this expression you can calculate the concentration of h plus you'll get the ph or you can apply directly formula ph is equal to 7 plus half of pk plus log c everything is given here pk is 5 when you substitute this you'll get 8 8.35 so you should approximate to nearest answer next sum of pi bonds in a molecule of peroxidisulfuric acid and pyrosulfuric acid you know that peroxidisulfuric acid h2s2 8 o8 pyrosulfuric acid h2s2 o7 very common molecules here four pi bonds are there here also there are four pi bonds some will be eight the next question an ideal solution containing x a a and b are there a and b mole fraction of a is given 0.7 mole fraction vapor pressure is given mole fraction of b is given 0.2 vapor pressure is given you can apply the simple formula that is raoult's law vapor pressure is sum of vapor pressure of two components components vapor pressure will be pa not x a and pb not x b and substituting the values 350 and 0.7 0.3 410 and 0.8 and 0.2 and calculation you will need to the pa not you will get 
314 tor the next question is based on kinetics here half lives are given at different initial pressures it is asked to calculate the order of the reaction a routine question we know that for nth order reaction half life is proportional to initial concentration or initial power power 1 minus n where n is the order of the reaction now from this we can write t half 1 upon t half 2 is equal to p not 1 by p not 2 power 1 by 1 minus n take any two values 2 upon 4 100 upon 50 substitute this you'll get n is equal to 2 second order we are getting now this is question based on physics option again directly ncert statement physics option is highly specific in nature this is wrong because between the adsorbent and adsorbate there are only van der waal force of attractions are there due to this van der waal force of attraction physics option e is less specific So less specific for the adsorbate, whereas chemis option is specific for the adsorbate because it should form the chemical bond. Physics option is monolayer in nature. Wrong. Physics option is multilayer. Chemis option is monolayer because it can form chemical bond after formation of chemical bond with one set species. It cannot form chemical bond with the other species in the same direction. So physics option is monolayer. Physics option has zero activation energy. This is correct because this is just one or all forces. It does not require any activation. Whereas chemis option requires activation. Physics option decreases with increase in temperature. This is correct because the gas molecules which are adsorbed on the surface. So adsorption is generally exothermic in nature. As this has no activation energy, when you increase the temperature, the adsorbed gas molecule will be dissolved, removed from the metal surface so physics option extent will decrease with increase in temperature physics option has high delta h adsorption this is wrong physics option has low adsorption because it is weak van der waal forces this statement is correct if it is chemis option chemis option has high delta h adsorption now there is a question based on the thermodynamics work done is asked total work done is work done in this cyclic process is asked so pressure and volume at two different points are given here total work is work ab plus bc plus ca we can see that this a to b is isochoric process p into delta v so work done during the isochoric process is zero b to c is isobaric process we can write work done is minus p into v2 minus v1 c to a is an isothermal process for isothermal process we can write work done is minus rt ln v2 by v1 so for to convert calculate work done here temperature is not given we can calculate temperature at point t, c by using the expression pv is equal to nrt pressure is 1 atmosphere volume is 20 liter and moles of the gases are 1 okay so from this we can get the number of moles of gases p is 1 v is 20 by r 20 by r so you can write the work done in bc that is minus p into v2 minus v1 v2 is 20 v1 is uh, v2 is 4 sorry v2 is b to c v2 is 20 v1 is 40 and pv you can our temperature value you can substitute and v2 minus v2 upon v1 in this step is 40 upon 20 you calculate this you will get 6 liter atmosphere we know that 1 liter atmosphere is 101.3 joules so on calculation you will get nearly 608 joules the next question is which of the following are the concentration terms concentration of a solution is expressed in different terms like mass percentage correct molality correct molarity mole fraction ppm 
but not in moles so this is a very simple question molarity weight percentage volume percentage mole fraction ppm or concentration terms the next question is uni positive ion of an atom containing 55 protons contains how many s electrons you can write directly electronic configuration for 55 protons 55 protons means it is cesium if you don't know cesium also you can directly write no need to find which element directly you can write here that is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 3d10 4s2 4p6 4d10 5s2 5p6 6s1 cesium if you remove the outer electron this is becoming 5p6 5s2 5p6 in the valence shell they are asking how many s electrons are there s electron here 2 to 4 here to 6 8 and these two are 10 so total 10 electrons are there so the next question is how many tripeptides can be formed from the amino acids valine and proline this is a very easy question you can directly write this there are two amino acids they are asking tripeptides so 2 power 3 8 you will get so we can write all valence valine 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 one of them can be alanine it can be a c terminal or it can be at the middle or it can be n terminal so total four similarly we can write all alanines one of them is valine it can be n terminal or c sorry it can be c terminal or n terminal or it can be in between so here again we are getting four total tripep eight tripeptides are possible so this is the paper we got here 26 questions you can go through these questions and have some idea for the up upcoming exam